just act right and create your jacket. So you, see, you can use that as like a reference tool. So you just look at it and show it. And it's burned in if I save it? If you save it, yes, it's burned in. What okay. you can do is save one in burnt in and not burnt, burnt in. And if you wanted to change it, you can use that as your reference. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But just, yeah. you know, if you want to move it around, then it's right. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I do it in Photoshop. But mm -hmm. can you change the size of the scale board? That's too many no. microns. It's so. so it's specialized for each objective, so it changes the same right. objective. So it's like uh, objective uh, scale. Okay. Yeah, so it's like 20 microns on the four, or 10 yeah. microns on the four, and it just goes up. Okay. Now the next tab is the measure tab. This allows us to create different annotations in the image. First option we have is a text box. So we can click and drag, create text box on the image. If you want to change the color of the text, you click your color button. That'll allow you to change the color of the text. Okay. This is a pointer, so you can click and drag, create an arrow. So you can point to different objects. If you want to change the name of the arrow, you can click your name button. That'll allow you to change the name of the arrow. You can also change the width of your arrow, so you can make it a little more prominent. You can click and drag on your width bar. That'll allow you to make it a little thicker. Mm -hmm. This is your line tool. It allows you to measure distances. So if you click and drag, you can measure distance. This also can be like a <coughs> makeshift scale bar if you wanted to, so you can make your own scale bar, kind of. And you get it at actual... Microns. Yeah. Microns. It's not pixels. Yeah, yeah. it's microns. These final three buttons allow us to select areas and measure overall intensity in an area. So for this option here, this first box lets us create a rectangle. Right now we're given the dimension of the rectangle. We can only go like the area of the rectangle instead. Oh, that's nice. You can click your measure bar and do area or perimeter of the rectangle instead. And then to get overall intensity, you click show histogram. That will give you your overall intensity. Now because we're in an overlay, it's giving us all three channels together. If you want to get just one channel instead, you can use this drop down menu. Go to an unlined channel. Instead. Is it giving you MFI? Mean for us and It's giving you so it's giving you mean, mean, and the mode. Okay, and it's so giving you just one. pixel intensity. Yeah. Pixel, yeah. okay. Is this software download? Can we download? Unfortunately yeah, not. Um, but many of these tools are available in other programs like ImageJ, yeah, um, so it's pretty similar. Very similar. Yeah. yeah, and because they're standardized file formats, you can easily take them over to another program. It is. Yeah, okay, yeah you can do them in JPEG. And depending on how much this is used, you can use the computer yeah. here, but it's yeah. included for anybody doing ImageJ. Yeah. yeah. We're sitting here all night long and just doing mm -hmm. this. <laughs> <laughs> More user-friendly than ImageJ. Just Photoshop, just Photoshop. <laughs> we also have a little free trace tool, so you can click and drag. It's your free trace on an object. Mm -hmm. You can get your intention measurement off of that. Okay. Do you have a um, tool that will allow you to draw? Like, if you have all, all let's put, if you can please bring up all the channels. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, let's say I want to measure the amount of, of the red. Let's, what is the red? So you can't do just the red within an overlaid image with this box or with these three tools here. So if you do that, it's going to be just the overlaid image. You can do it with a line tool, but it's only going to give you the intensity off of the line. So with the line tool, you can see our online channels. For, uh, you can uh -huh. see the intensity on the underlying channels, but you can't do it for an area okay. within the overlay. Now let's see. If we draw here, uh, can you make each? Uh, can you can you zoom in this picture? Yeah, we gotta zoom, and double up click. Zoom. Okay. So let's say, looking at this big cell here, mm -hmm. if we draw around the nucleus, so to draw around the nucleus, you click on free draw or. You can do circle or free trace. Okay. Now, um, if we turn off the green and the blue, mm -hmm. so the drawing stays there, right? The, this will not fit it. This is only in the overlaid image. So if we go to like Dappy, you have to remake that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, but the one you just drew now. It it's, was it's not. That was the one I originally made. So you'll see. So you see it changes position uh -huh. between channels. So let me delete that. So in the overlay, you still have that. But why is it? Exactly, you don't. It's only for each individual channel. You have to make your area. Okay. 
So let's say I'm interested in measuring the red. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want to draw around the blue, but I want the drawing to be there when I shift to the red. Unfortunately, you can't do that. You can. No. So what you'd have, what you would have to do is just go to your Texas red. You'll see your DAPI imprint here because it's a blank space, uh -huh. and then you can do your measurement from that. So. Okay. So let's say let, let's say if we are there. So let's draw it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I want to do a free draw around the most intense red areas. And I want to calculate how much red is only in this area, not including the, the the center. Can we do that? No. So it's going to include everything within the area, including the center. Well, you can do it depending yeah, on how well, you, you could draw. Do. So you could just draw like right oh, here and, and, and then and like then inside the, and yeah. go around this and then inside yeah. like little tricks on free draw. Yeah, that's how I would do it. Yeah, that's how I did before, but it's a pain if you have a lot of them to do. <laughs> what you could is, do but, and I've done is it. make two I've areas. There. Yeah, and me too. That's what I was hoping like for. I've a million circles and Yeah, and yeah, yeah the thing that you go this way and then you go this way very fine, and then if you go off a little bit, then uh, yeah, it's a pain. So I was hoping for some software that would do the thing. You could take it into image J, maybe. What you could do instead is create two areas, get your intensity off of the big area, and then you get your intensity off the small area and subtract them. When you're using one cell, it's okay. When yeah. you use many cells, when then it's driving you crazy. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, but I, yeah, that, I think in this case, then drawing each one it was less of a headache. But, but well, then okay. you just have to make your methodology the same for everything you do. Like, yeah. I'm going to measure um, this many in a field of view and do it the same way for all your groups. That's how I did it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. That's a little bit more subjective. <laughs> yeah, because usually I, I want to see like as long as you follow the methodology, then you're you're you know mm -hmm. not being you know cherry picking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, now um, you, can, you, say you can you can scan yep. your whole plate. Let's say 96 whole plates. Mm -hmm. You can send set like times or interval times for scanning the whole plate, right? So you can do either or, you can't do both. So you can do time lapse or scan. Um, with time lapse, you can spe uh, specify the beacon so you can take multiple images oh, within okay. the time point. But you cannot select an area and do a time lapse of an area. So, right. so you're like, talking about doing a tiling job, right? Yeah, you can't do area. a tile and a time lapse. Right. You can do a tile or a time lapse. But within the time lapse, you can select as many beacons right. so as you like. Oh, okay, got so it. let's say you want to do like a 96 hole plate and you want to be in the center of your as well. You can do that easily. Or okay. pick whatever cells you think are interesting in doing something. If yeah. That kind of so time it, lapse. it will <laughs> remember the positions mm -hmm. to go to and yeah. take the, okay, the information from that. Okay. 